In this video, we're gonna harden our five integral blades with fire and oil, and then we're gonna do lots of grinding and hand sanding after. I've been grinding and milling on these five integrals. I started by getting the sides of the blade parallel and then milling them down thinner. I left a lot of extra material all over on these blades because this twisted pattern is gonna look really cool when we grind into it deep. So that's why I left stuff so thick. Next thing I did was mill the sides of the bolsters down and then ground the sides of the tang down and worked the bolster down to the right length and just kept working things all over the place. We've got the tangs, they're pretty much finished as far as the shape goes. The blades have been profiled. They're still about 200 thousandths of an inch thick though and I wanna remove some more material before I heat treat these. So I've marked out with my height gauge some scribe lines to grind to and I'm gonna go over to the Broadbeck and make some magic happen and grind these bevels in. They're just gonna be rough ground for now. I'm gonna leave the edge pretty thick and I'm not gonna bring the grind all the way up to the spine until after the heat treatment. So I just need to get over there and hog off some material times five. Broadbeck Ironworks sent me out their grinder setup along with pretty much all the attachments they have and I've been using this thing for a couple of months and I am loving it. So I'm gonna be using this bad boy to hog off this material on these integrals. Dad also did some work to this grinding station to get it set up really nice. He built a really cool stand for it out of this uh, piece of pipe. So we've actually got it nailed down to the concrete floor. Got a nice little belt rack right there. We've got a nice little tree right here to hang a bunch of the attachments on and then other smaller attachments up here. And he also set up all this really cool duct work so we would have a super cool ventilation system at the grinder. And it was a little bit of a challenge for him to set this up because we needed something that would move quite a bit. Because this grinder flips over horizontal. And when you're doing horizontal work right here, you want to pick up that dust and it's blowing all that dust off this, this wheel right here. So he had to come up with a design that would allow him to allow us to move this thing around without spending too much time on it. So just, uh, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. Now I've got that vent set up right here at the horizontal setting too. So that's super cool. He's got this massive 10 horse uh, motor on the vent system. I'm done rough grinding all five blades. I used a 36 grit belt to grind the bevels. It was kind of halfway worn out too. And then I used a 240 grit belt to horizontally grind the edges. And that was just to get rid of stress risers from horizontal lines that were there before. I wanted to get rid of all those and leave a nice 240 grit finish on there. I also beveled the edge, again, to get rid of stress risers. We don't want these blades cracking when I heat treat them. I also went over the tang and finished all the tangs out with a 120 grit belt. Again, just to get rid of those stress risers that are left there from the 36 grit. The main bevels should be okay with the 36 grit. I just wanted to hedge my bets a little bit and clean up the edges. Got the kiln heated up to 1525. I'm gonna put these in there, let them come up to temperature and soak for a couple minutes, and then we'll get them quenched in some Parks 50. Got the blades up to 1525 and they've been soaking for a minute or two. I'm gonna have dad run the kiln door, opening and closing it, and I'm gonna take one out and quench it at a time and uh, pull it out and probably just lay it on that uh, shirt and then take the next one out. All right, number one. Very good, wiggle, wiggle. Get them cooled down and wipe the oil off and then uh, go scrape a file across them and see if they got hard. That one's definitely hard. Very hard. Very hard. Nice and hard. One left. Will it be hard? Or is this one gonna be dead soft or somewhere between? Super soft. I don't know what happened to this one. Just kidding, it's extremely hard. Looks like they all got nice and hard. They also stayed nice and straight, but I wasn't too worried about that since they're so short and I normalized them all properly. 
I'm gonna let the oven cool down, the heat treating oven, and uh, put these in there to temper for two hours at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And they should be ready for lots and lots of grinding after that. You know what time it is. Coffee break. Oh, that's good. And now, a word from our sponsor, us. <laughs> We've been working on something brand new and August 1st, we are launching Knife Maker Plus. Knife Maker Plus is a monthly membership where I teach you how and why I make the knives the way I do. Our first project is gonna be a Mosaic Damascus recurve fighter. And we're gonna start at the very beginning of the project and go all the way through step by step. We're gonna spend the first two months going in deep on just making the Mosaic Damascus for this project. And then the following months, we'll continue on with the build until it's complete. So go follow me on Instagram because on July 25th, we're gonna let you know how to sign up and become a member. And now, back to your regularly scheduled broadcast. I've been doing a ton of grinding on these five integrals. I also got this one sanded to 320 grit. I kind of like to take one and have it be kind of like the prototype and then follow behind with the other four as far as what stages I'm doing. I used the Broadbeck Integral Grinding Attachment, which worked really nicely since these are all integrals and uh, got those uh, bolsters all cleaned up, got nice even radiuses on both sides. I used a file guide to make sure that these were perfectly even on each side, right where the bolster stops. I put it on there, got it nice and square and scribed a line and then all I had to do is use the Broadbeck attachment and grind up to that line. I've got these blades at 320 grit right now, but the, the little radius right there uh, where the integral bolster starts is only at 120. So I need to put a finer grit belt on the Broadbeck integral grinding attachment and then go up in there and clean up that little bit of a radius. And once that's done, these things are pretty much ready to be hand sanded, uh, at least to 320 grit. I'm over at the Broadbeck Ironworks grinder and I'm using their integral grinding attachment. I've already hogged off the majority of the material right here, but I do need to clean it up a little bit with this 320 grit belt. What's really nice, I can just come up in here and lightly grind up to my scribe line and then it'll match perfectly on both sides. I'm already really, really close to my scribe line now. Basically all I need to do is grind off the Sharpie that I put on here. I put the Sharpie on the area that has the 120 grit scratches that I gotta get rid of. Just trying to clean up this area right in here, uh, all the way up to where the bolster starts. I've got a little bit of Sharpie left there, so I need to go a little bit further. I'm also getting rid of any scratches vertical scratches right there. It'll make it much easier to hand stand later. That cleaned up this area right here where the bolster and blade meet really, really nicely. The Broadbeck Integral Grinding Attachment is really nice for this. As you can see, I got this area cleaned up really quickly, really nice, got it to a 320 grit finish. Have a nice transition from the bolster to the blade now and it's gonna make hand sanding up in there really, really easy. All I had to do was mark some scribe lines on the sides of my bolster and then lightly grind until I got up to the scribe lines and then I don't even have to check it. I'm gonna know at that point that these grinds are symmetrical on each side just because everything's uh, ground the same on both sides of the bolster and that scribe line does not lie. I'm done grinding all the main blade bevels so now I've got a bunch of 320 grit sanding to do. I'm only gonna take them up to 320 right now. Uh, I don't need to go any higher than that. After that's done, we can move on to grinding in clips and cleaning up the spines and all that stuff. This will just help me keep everything nice and crisp by doing this 320 sanding at an early stage. I'll just have my sandpaper wrapped around a file for this rounded bolster area. 
And then I'll use my main sanding stick for the main portion of the blade bevels. I just got all five of these little buggers sanded to 320 grit. It took about a half an hour per knife, so it wasn't too bad because they're pretty small and I already had them ground to 320 grit as well. In the next video, we're gonna continue on and get these clips ground in, get the uh, spine cleaned up, start working on the bolster some more and get these things ready for handles. Also, these are gonna be available for purchase, so if you don't wanna miss out when they're available, then go follow me on Instagram and I'll be posting them up on there when they're done so you'll have a chance to get one if you're interested.